Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today or evening, night, morning, afternoon. I am extremely excited for this episode. Hopefully it's not as sad as the last one. Oh, we can only hope. We can only hope. <laughs> all right, let's go watching. Check her out. Is she hot or is she hot? Oh, it's Buffy. She's Buffy. Yeah. <laughs> Buffy? Girl's so hot, she's buffy. <laughs> what do you think of her? You know, I never really thought about what I think about her. She's all right, I guess. She's just kind of peculiar. <laughs> peculiar? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> she broke it. <laughs> what do you think of the blonde chick? Mattressable. Riley's not down. Did he just say mattressable? She never feels like she's really there when you talk to her. I like girls I can get a grip on. I bet you do. There's definitely something off about her. <laughs> Didn't you go with Parker Abrams for about 30 seconds? <gasps> she just left it! Well, I'm not denying she's easy on the eyes. Oh. Would you really want to go out with her? Bet a lot of guys would like to get their hands on her. Slayer. <gasps> There's one. I kill you. I'm not so tough. Kill Slayer. <laughs> wow, that's a cool shot. Yep, and there's the rest. Oh, wow. That is so cool. They have so many of them in cages. So the glass um is electrified, so they can't just bust their way out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, based on, on uh, Buffy's description, I believe the men that we're after look something like this. The latest in fall fascism. I like it. Once again, I'd say that you and I will not be needed to help Buffy. Mm. Really? Really. Mm. Well, how about this? We whip out the Ouija board, light a few candles, summon some ancient, <laughs> unstoppable evil, mayhem, mayhem, mayhem. We show up and kick its ass. Yes. <laughs> it's a solution. Patrolling tonight? Nope. Oh. I am going to a party tonight. Oh. Buffy, somebody's got to find out who these people are. I live in a dorm now. <laughs> The girls in my hall want a party. Willow needs some cheering up. I'm going to take her. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go find something slutty to wear tonight. <laughs> he packs up. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Oh, wow. Look at him just pacing back and forth. He's going to be furious when he gets out of there. Mm, can't touch it. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> what? Is that a blood pack? Yes, they're keeping these vampires alive. Don't drink it. It's drugged. Uh-huh. Who are you, mate? I'm a lab rat, just like the others. Huh. All I know is one minute I'm running for the Slayer, and the next thing I'm here. Uh. The Slayer! I knew it! I knew it! You took apart my crew and led me straight to these guys. Set me up, too. Oh. Ooh. I always worry what would happen when that... Bitch got some funding. <laughs> funding? Fine! <laughs> we'll take her apart. <laughs> I don't care how brilliant she is. Stupid pen. <laughs> Classic. My notes. All points can be tricky. <laughs> I noticed you left off a name today in roll call. Osborne, Daniel, Osborne, Oz. He's not in this class anymore. I assure you, Oz will be back. Not to my class, he won't. Oh. If your friend can't respect my schedule, I think it's best he not come back. Don't worry, Willow. I'm in denial as well. <laughs> you know, for someone who teaches human behavior, I might try showing some. Oh. It's not my job to coddle my students. A human being in pain has nothing to do with your job. <sighs> Beautiful. I love that. I like her. <laughs> really? You don't think she's a little peculiar? <laughs> well, yes. That's why we like her. Whoever these guys train with, I'm sure they're not ready to deal with. Xander! Yes, Mom! I made a nice fruit punch for you and your friend. Would you boys like some? <laughs> Is it uh, raspberry fruit punch? Oh! So she says, I you teach human him. behavior. Maybe you ought to show some. Oh, you're lying. She says it's to Walsh? Don't like her guts. Gotta give her that. Yeah, but she's nuts. Oh, come on, like you never wanted to tell the professor off. Hey, Parker! What's the scoop on Buffy Summers? 
Yeah, she's all right, I guess. I mean, kind of whiny. I mean, we got a little physical, well, fully physical. <sighs> no, but fun was had, yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely a bunny in the sack, but later on, you know the difference between a freshman girl and a toilet seat. The toilet seat doesn't follow you around after you use it. <laughs> Thank you. Can't Thank that you. I did that. Welcome to the club. Do you have any idea how much trouble you could have gotten into? If Parker reported you, he won't. He's too embarrassed. He was just being so crude. Mm. Please. I just didn't like hearing him talk about Buffy that way. Well, I guess I like her. Aww. <laughs> You're kind of like a moron. You knew that I had feelings for her. Everybody knows, man. Oh, she's peculiar. Giveaway, buddy. Oh, what? Was the last to know. <laughs> so what you gonna do? I guess I'm gonna go see a girl. Oh, okay. Well, there's positive, happy music going on. Maybe things are gonna be okay. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, got to go see a girl. Oh wow! Two people got to go see a girl. <laughs> oh. Right now, <laughs> I know where the exit is. You oh. find me, you're free. If you don't, you're dead. Oh, damn. He's oh, oh, wow. This way, okay. Well, at least that's not too bad. Only two of them are out, they didn't let out everyone. Oh, new plan. We split up. You go that way. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, oh. Where are they? Hi. Gee, I hope I'm not interrupting anything really depressing. <laughs> I was thinking of asking out Buffy. I don't know that much about Buffy, but I'm interested in what she oh. likes. And the only thing that I know she likes is you. Oh. What, what do you want me to do? Just tell me something. <laughs> oh, she's so good. Just give me a clue. To oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Just something that'll start us talking, you know? Say that I help. When you start a conversation, it goes great. You spend time together, feelings grow deeper. One day, without even realizing it, you find you're in love. Mm. And it feels like the whole world's made for you two. Until the day one of you leaves and rips the still beating heart from the other, who's now a broken, hollow mockery of the human condition. Mm. Yep, that's the plan. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Just sort of hoping you think I have an honest face. <laughs> I've seen honest faces before. They usually come attached to liars. I appreciate you wanting to protect your friend. She kind of brings that out in people. She likes cheese. Well, I'm not saying it's the key to her heart, but <laughs> she likes cheese. Oh, that's cute. That's a start. Yeah. She has a stuffed piggy named Mr. Gordo. <laughs> Loves ice capades without the irony. Yes. And she's dragging me to this party tonight at Lowell House. Mm -hmm. That's my house. I live there. Oh, well, it'll give you a chance to interact. But don't get fresh. <laughs> fresh? I don't even know if we like each other yet. Hmm. Seems nice. Hey, does she ever talk about me? Sorry. I feel like I have a fighting chance with my new accomplice. I'm not your accomplice. <laughs> no, no, of course not. I'm not. <laughs> You're not. We're clear. We're clear. Oh, that is so cute. How many? Oh. Oh. Spike? Oh, she's happy to see you. Spike, is that really you? Oh. It's me, baby. Your man is. Yes. <laughs> back. Bastard. Yes. You dumped yes. me and staked me and hurt me and left I me. No, sugar, but you're forgetting one other thing I did. <laughs> I missed you. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh. Your blondie bear is here to stay. <laughs> Well, where have you been? Wait, don't tell me. I'm just glad you're back. And this time it's for good, right? Oh, forever and ever, Mom. Petite creme brulee. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Big Daddy's home. We're gonna go wherever you want, kill whoever you want. <laughs> Starting with the Slayer. Uh -huh. But after that, it's all you and me. My little mentholated pack of smirks. <laughs> Spiky, let's leave the Slayer alone. You know she'll only slap you around. <laughs> and I can do that. Ow. <laughs> The head, love. Watch the head. Watch. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Nerve endings, screaming in silence, never knowing which thought might be your last. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I love him. Both of them are so bored and left out. 
I'm gonna grab a soda. I'll, I'll find you guys. I don't know if Willow's gonna stay here. She's not really in the mood for this. Okay, she's wearing the halter top with sensible shoes. That means mostly dancing light contact, but don't push her luck. So what do I do? Ask her to dance. I can't dance. <laughs> then talk. Funny is good, but don't be glib. If you hurt her, I will beat you to death with a shovel. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> a vague disclaimer is nobody's friend. Oh, she's so beautiful. She is such a good friend. Everyone needs a willow. Hi. Hi. Where's the cheese? Oh, uh... <laughs> you do the reading on uh, chapter nine? Uh-huh. Wow, some theories, huh? <laughs> cheese? <laughs> That's cute. He's so awkward. I love it. Oh. What's that? Oh. I'm warning you, I've been highly trained to put this through your heart. Mm, I can kill you where you stand. <laughs> Bring it on, then. Ow! <laughs> Ow! What's <laughs> 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 that fight? That's terrible! <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna bite you. We should stop, okay? Okay, I will if you will. <laughs> on the count of three. <laughs> okay. Harmony, it's been great catching up. Really, I'm just gonna pick up the tattered treads of my dignity and go home. <laughs> Leaving you with your fire. This crap belongs to Spike. That's Spike stuff. Can you believe him? He comes back with all these big promises, you know? But he could have spent one night, but no, everything was slayer this and slayer that. Uh. I mean, he probably already killed her. I'm not taking him back. I just, I just want to know why it is that men always... He's gone. Leave. Leave. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Spike stuff. Oh. I choked. You really, really did. <laughs> Are you okay? This song. Oh. oh that's a tape of some bands from last year's party. Associations. Pig. Mm. AJ. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you. That's beautiful. I'll go find Buffy. There's no hurry. I mean, if you want to talk. I want you to find Buffy and tell her that I went home and not to worry about me. Oh. Which at least will give you something to say. Mm, no, Buffy won't Thanks. stay then. She won't stay if fun. Willow's gone home. Um, Willow said to say that she took off. Kind of blue, but she said not to worry. Thank you. You know, I wanted to ask you something. Ask away. <laughs> uh, Buffy, I'm looking all over for you. We need... <laughs> <laughs> need to talk. Uh, not here. It's sort of unfinished business. Business. Uh, excuse us. No. No problem. Damn, Paul Riley. She just left with another guy. Mm. That's all. I need you downstairs anyway. I'm gonna see you mooning over some freshman for the next three months. Retinal scan accepted. I like it. I'm on your side. I know you are, Graham. That's what gives me the strength to put up with this comedian. I know about girls. Exactly. Girls, plural. I'm talking about one girl. What's happening? <laughs> one girl. Initiative vocal code match complete. Special agent Ben Riley. What? The problem is. Ben Riley? I thought what his first girl? name was wow, Riley. Guys. What? He's involved with the capturing of these things <laughs> and Spike. Situation? Oh. Gentlemen, suit up. We have a code red. She's here too? Hostel 17 has escaped. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Hostel 17 broke restraints at exactly 2.47 p.m. It was bagged and tagged locally, so assume it knows the area. What? The creature has every advantage right now. Fail to recapture it and everything we've worked for, the initiative itself could end tonight. So are they really uh, teachers or is that just a disguise? Take the campus perimeter, make sure it can't leave. Stake it if you gotta, but only as a last resort. B team, you're going down. Tunnels, sewers, cemeteries. Gates and Miller are with me. We take the heart of campus and work our way out. <laughs> okay, uh, fascinating. Oh, come on. That is such an obvious bunker room. <laughs> What is wrong with him? Doesn't Spike get that this is my town? And it's my night off. We have 
have to assume that Spike's main target is you, Buffy. You know what? He's worn out his welcome. Tonight, I kill him. You have a plan? I am the plan. <laughs> yes. Spike wants me. I go alone. No arguments. <laughs> Lead him away from the popular places and give him what he wants. Take this. A flare gun? Xander, if I find Spike, I'm staking him, not signaling ships at sea. <laughs> you get into trouble. <laughs> okay. It's not a bad idea, hey. Oh, flare. Do you think Spike will find her? I'm sure of it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Look at him on the computer. <laughs> it's just something so funny about that. Hello, gorgeous. What do we got? Civilian, sir. That's Buffy. We gotta clear her out of there. Maybe not. If you're a hostile 17, living up the crap we feed them, what would you rather eat than that? You wanna use the girl I got a crush on as bait? Denied. You should be safe the entire time. Denied, agent. What if they. So Riley! I need a little alone time now. Alone. Why? I need space. We're outdoors. Emotionally. I mean, emotionally. You know, <laughs> there's plenty of space back in your room. Why don't I take you? I'm gonna believe the weirdos out of this. Whoa, house. okay. Who died made you John Wayne. I'm just trying to help. You think I need help? You know, if you were a real gentleman, then you would just leave. You would go far, <laughs> she sits in the far middle. away. <laughs> now, shoot. Are you drunk? <laughs> sure. Yes, go and report me. <laughs> I'm taking you home. <laughs> oh, do you ever think maybe I'm gonna take you home, huh? You think that, that boys can take care of themselves and girls need help? Yeah. <laughs> that is so Teutonic. <laughs> Look, Buffy, as long as you're out here, I'm staying. Well, as long as you're out here, I'm staying. See ya. Go. <laughs> Got it. Heading west. Let's back it before this gets ugly. Aww. Come in. <gasps> oh, what do you want? A, a spell? I, I can do that. Whoa. <laughs> Ouch. I'll give you a choice. Now I'm gonna kill you. No choice on that. I can let you stay dead. Or bring you back to be like me. Oh, I'll, I'll scream. Bonus. <laughs> That's the scream. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. But Buffy. I don't understand. This sort of thing's never happened to me before. <laughs> what? Maybe you were nervous. I felt all right oh when we started. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happened? Damn it! <laughs> Maybe you're trying too hard. Doesn't this happen to every vampire? Not to me, it doesn't. It's me, isn't it? Oh. What are you talking about? Well, you came looking for Buffy, then settled. He didn't want to bite me, I just happened to be around. Piffle. I know, I'm not the kind of girl vamps like to sink their teeth into. You're like a sister to me, or, oh, you're such a good friend. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Oh, my God. i bite you in a heartbeat. Really? <laughs> Thought about it. When? <laughs> Remember last year? It had on that uh, fuzzy pink number with the lilac underneath. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Mm -hmm. I hate being obvious, all fangy and grrr. <laughs> takes a mystery out. What? That was so adorable. <laughs> Bingo. <gasps> Got a cold one. Damn. Thermal output clocking in yes. and exactly. Room temperature. Vampire. I need a lockdown on grid six. Why? This is so funny. I'm only 126. <laughs> Why don't we wait a half an hour and try again? <laughs> or. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Oh, my God. oh the lockdown. Oh. He can't bite. They've, they've done something to him in that room. Bag and tag it. We're gone. Whoa. Sir, civilian could have turned. Leave her. 
We can't neglect quarantine. <gasps> Riley's hat thing will come off and we'll never see. Stop her! She's contained. Contain this. <laughs> Out of here. Damn. Oh. That's damn cool. Abort. I wonder if she recognizes his voice. Wow. Oh. I'm sure you'll understand if I seem far from happy. Yes, ma'am. If you read my report, you'll Hustle see that... Hustle 17's found an accomplice who's smart, aggressive, and somehow escapes description. Whoever he was, the guy was big. Strong, too. Or whatever. I'm not interested in guesswork, Jen. <laughs> Agent Finn, tell me something good. The implant works. Hostile 17 can't harm any living creature in any way. We'll bag it. Yes, you will. Wow. That is so cool. This is so cool. They must be doing this... For the purposes of good though to to rid sunnydale of these demons and vampires hi sorry about last night no i was rude i just felt like being alone sometimes it's nice to be out by yourself at night gotta be careful though a lot of strange people out <laughs> oh yeah how's willow doing okay of course that stupid fraternity prank on our dorm didn't help any mm. that's right <laughs> i forgot you guys live in stevenson you knew that well, Willow and I were... I thought she might be able to help me on a project. <laughs> that work out for you? Don't know yet. Last night, at the party, you wanted to tell me something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very important stuff. I don't remember any of it now, but you would have been fascinated. <laughs> Did Willow tell you I like cheese? You're a little peculiar. <laughs> I can live with that. Okay. I have a few things to say about this episode. Firstly, it was a lot of fun, like really good fun, really funny in places too. I know that some of you in the comments have said that you guys don't really like Spike because he is a villain, he's evil, but I like him. I think he's a really fun character and he's very humorous, which is something that I always appreciate and I'm drawn to. So for me, when Spike turns up, it's always a very interesting episode because I, I actually do really like him, even though, yes, I know that he's very bad, but yes, he does get away with a lot of things uh, for me, in my eyes, because I do like him as a character. So I'm a little bit more forgiving with Spike than some other villains. It was so funny seeing Spike with Harmony again. I did not think that she would welcome him back after what happened last time. I just don't think I could forgive my vampire boyfriend if he put a stake in me even if I was wearing the ring of Amara to protect me I don't think there's any coming back from that so I do hope that Harmony maybe doesn't take Spike back I, I don't think there's any relationship there for Spike and Harmony but it's really fun for me to watch those two interact. I feel that I'm definitely more on Harmony's side here. Spike is actually very very rude and mean to Harmony so I, I love it when she kind of puts him in his place and attempts to burn his clothing. Oh wow, um, Riley and the teacher Professor Walsh I think her name is, I'm not very good with names. So they are in some, they're in some sort of army thing that they, they capture vampires, monsters, demons, and put an implant in their neck that stops them from, well, if in Spike's case, being able to feed, being able to bite, maybe in other demons or other monsters cases, it would stop them from being able to attack or just do what they normally 
do. So that is absolutely fascinating. The reason why they are doing this, I don't think at this point that it's anything negative. I can only really see a positive thing here. I think that they are trying to rid Sunnydale of vampires and demons. So, you know, that's always a good thing. And Riley is interested in Buffy and I think she's interested in him in return. So could this be an actually good partnership and relationship if they are both able to tell it the other what they are, who they are, what they do, could this actually work and they could come together to be able to be this amazing team? It remains to be seen, but I do like Riley. He, he seems sweet. He seems genuine. He's smart he's not a bad person but I think they definitely do need to tell each other who they are in order for this relationship to go anywhere if it even is going to get off the ground well he's better than Parker better than Parker BTP I mean you cannot get much worse than Parker so anything is a step up from that guy so I'm open for Buffy and Riley, but I will just see where it goes. I'll see where it goes. So I'm feeling positive, but of course, I'm just going to wait and see because, you know, a lot of things go wrong in Buffy. So I never, I'm never going to expect anything good. <laughs> the only thing that I'll say about Riley is that apart from this army thing that he's got going, he does seem a little bit uninteresting. But being in this army, being an agent, has certainly raised that interest level for me. I mean, we don't really know much about him, really, even before this episode. So I'm going to hold off on making too many judgments until we figure out more about him. And even if this is actually going to go anywhere, I mean, for a moment when I saw Riley and Willow sitting on the couch together at the party, I thought maybe, maybe it'll be something between Willow and Riley. But oh, look, I still feel that Oz just needs to come to terms with everything. I think I'm feeling a bit like Willow at the moment, just in a state of denial and yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in denial a little bit as well. It's difficult to see Willow so upset because she is such a beautiful person. She's so caring. And I feel that being Riley's accomplice here has maybe given Willow back a little bit of a spark. It's given her a little bit of an interest, something else to focus on, which is going to be really nice for her if that's something that carries on, if she can continue to help Riley with his pursuit of Buffy. Very, very good episode. So funny in many places. Very enjoyable to me. I hope you guys liked it as well. Looking forward to the next one and seeing where this story is going to go with Riley and the professor and this thing that they're doing. Perhaps it's even something that Buffy could get involved with herself. She may not work with the council anymore, but she could be part of these guys. She could be Agent Summers. I think that sounds pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.